specialist in battlefield there's 10 of them some are good and some are Quack. which ones do you want to bring in with you in hazard zone well the number one specialist by far in my opinion of course is sundance she's got the wingsuit she can fly wherever she wants if you have just a little bit of a cliff or hill she can use that and just wingsuit over there's been so many times where i'm able to wingsuit 700 meters away from my uh my friendlies and be able to come around the back on other enemies to be able to flank them it works perfectly especially with like a sniper rifle or a dm7 you want to use the wingsuit the second thing she has is her grenade belt it comes with three different grenades and two of them each time and guess what they replenish so the first one is going to be anti-personnel it's like a cluster bomb you throw it up in the air and it shoots down four little little grenades below it and then you have the anti-vehicle you toss it in the air it'll automatically lock onto the nearest vehicle and go straight for it it doesn't do a whole lot of damage but i tell you what if you hit that vehicle in the face with it right at where the enemies are you're gonna kill them all and the third thing she has is the little emp grenade this is so clutch when it comes to other vehicles because you can stop them from moving when it comes to the phytos because you can stop them entirely and their turrets that i think boris uh drops down there's been so many times where i'm sitting behind cover and i grab an emp grenade and i just throw it over there and it totally destroys them it is very very useful when it comes to extract points when you have other teams holding it down with dogs or turrets you can shut down all of that with a simple EMP grenade and then throw over your anti-personnel, which cluster bombs everybody. So she is by far my number one specialist. Every single time you're going to hazard zone, someone needs to have this specialist. It's it's way OP. And if you've done the wingsuit yet, it's like you're back in Far Cry 4. It's amazing. I love it. The second specialist, and this is kind of a toss-up for me, would be Irish. Now he can toss down deployable cover. So let's say you're at extract, you need to hold down the area, drop down some deployable cover. Say you're pushing some data drives or some other enemies, or you got AI, toss down deployable cover. And I'm pretty sure he can toss down multiple ones as well. I haven't played them personally, but I've played against them many, 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 many times. And I've had teammates that play with them and it's amazing being able to have cover for yourself because it doesn't destroy easily. It takes a lot of damage before it knocks out. And on top of that, he also has this little sentry that'll destroy any incoming explosive. So if you're hunkered down into a room, you can toss down some cover and use that to destroy any grenades coming in, which kind of counters Sundance a little bit. So you can see how they work together. Now, my third specialist for Hazard Zone would have to be Boris. Now, if you know who Boris is, he drops down a sentry turret and it engages any enemies nearby. This is very, very useful for when you're battling AI. You can just have them mow down everybody. And if he stands closer to the turret, it does a lot better. So you can see now, whenever you're at extract points, you can hunker down with shield, then you got your, your anti-grenades, and then you have Boris sitting there with the sentry turret taking out everybody. These all work together. This is a team game hazard zone, and Boris is definitely clutch. You need to have Boris on your team. Let me interject real quick. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you find these videos and video helpful to you. There's a lot more hazard zone videos coming your way. Let me know what you want to see down in the comments, but make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new stuff coming out. Now, the fourth and fifth specialist is kind of a toss up right now, but they're definitely better than the last, the worst five, which there's another video if you want to see the top five worst specialist to take go check out that video that way you can make sure you avoid that and if you get in a group with somebody that has one of them you can hopefully message them to say like dude or do that please don't don't use them it would have to be angel so angel can call in loadout drops now they drop in with the parachute and everything but it'll replenish your ammo instantly not like the ammo drops to where you got to sit around for a while you go straight up to it replenish ammo and i'm pretty sure you can change out your loadout but i don't think you can do that in hazard zone and it also gives you armor now the next thing angel does and the other aspect of angel is he's a trauma specialist so he revives allies super quick and whenever he revives them he gives them armor too so you can see how this all kind of works together. You definitely want this number four or number five to be on your side because they are kind of helpful. They do heal and they do revive very quickly. And whenever you get revived by them, they help you with extra armor or extra health. So the fifth specialist, and like I said, this is a toss up between them, but would have to be Falk. Now she is a healer by far. She has a Tourette pistol to where if she shoots you from any distance, it'll heal you. Now she can shoot enemies with that. And of course it'll hurt them. 
but you can see how you can be behind cover and you're like, I need help, I need help. And she could just instantly shoot you with a pistol and heal you. When she revives enemies, she one, revives faster, and two, she revives them with full health. So you can see how you can take Falk or Angel in the fourth or fifth spot, but you definitely want a healer on your team because you might not take a med kit. By the way, if you need to know what pieces of equipment are best to go into hazard zone, check out the link above because I go over that as well. But you definitely need a healer in your squads, whether it be Angel or Foul, your choice. Once again, I do stream on twitch.tv slash theory SFX. Don't be afraid to come say hi. I'm going to be playing a lot of hazard zone and I'll see you on the battlefield.